Seven lies you might be telling yourself about your ex. This is Law of Attraction Secrets. Join Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach Robert Sink and prepare to be empowered. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time you might be listening to this special Law of Attraction Personal Empowerment Podcast, I am your miracle mentor, your mentor of light, Robert Zenk. And we are delighted and thrilled to be bringing you this personal empowerment podcast since 2009. We've helped people in 60 different countries and we can help you too. You know, there's nothing more tragic than to be in a situation where you are married have a loving relationship, but over a period of time, it deteriorates. Things turn bad and then people start filing for separations and divorces and it's not good, but we're here to help you. Help is on the way. But first I want you to believe. I want you to affirm. I want you to absolutely embrace the idea that you are soaring high like a big, beautiful Eagle flying in the direction of your dreams and your goals. It's not just myself and Rachel who are soaring high every day during this podcast. It's you as well. And if you haven't been flying high in a while, you're a part of a new club a club that we're all dedicated to soaring like eagles. Now today we're talking about love and we're talking about lies that you might be telling yourself that can be working against you in attracting back the love of your life. The first lie, my ex is a bad person. My ex did this. My ex did that. She did this. He did that. And then he said this, and then they did. You see what I'm saying? It can just go on forever and ever. Let go of that belief that your ex is a bad person. Because once you let go of that belief, you come back to a state of neutrality. And once you're in a state of neutrality, you can start manifesting the life that you desire with your ex. And you can rebuild a whole new relationship that is better than ever before, better than ever before. I mean, look at, I'm not about repairing and patching up and sewing together the old relationship. I'm about the two of you building something new and dynamic and exciting together. And if you've been married for a period of time and you're going through a breakup, you can go to all these marriage gurus or you can apply the science of the law of attraction. And that's what we do. I urge you to listen to 25, 50 of our videos, go and see our testimonials. We help people that are going through a serious breakup or a divorce, save their marriage. And that's a wonderful thing. That's an exciting thing. My ex is a bad person. No, your ex is not a bad person. So you're going to start affirming right now. And you're going to go back and remember some of those moments that you had that were special together. And you're going to say, my ex is a good person, but did some things that I'm not happy with. My ex is a good person, but did some things that I'm not happy with. After you get used to saying that, You're not even going to ever use the word X again. You're going to use her name. Sherry is a good person, but did some things that I'm not happy with. Larry is a good person, but did some things that don't make me happy. Okay. So you can start off using the word X because that's perhaps how you've been referring to your ex marriage partner or the one you're going through a breakup with, but stop. And from this moment on, 
right now, right now, do not refer to them as X again. Okay. It's very simple. The second lie that you're telling yourself likely, and this is a huge one because this one is the lie that stops you from attracting them back from bringing together a new relationship filled with more love, more passion. Look at, we believe that if you loved once, you can love much stronger the second time around. I fully believe that I'm fully committed to that. I will not take on clients that are not dedicated to a full, committed, loving relationship and or preferably marriage. Here's the lie. I've lost my ex forever. He's gone. He's never coming back. She's gone. She's never coming back. She's dating someone else right now. She'll never come back. Once you have those negative beliefs, you begin attracting that into your life. You see, Oh, this, you don't want to hear this. I know this is painful, but you attracted this breakup. You attracted this divorce. Now we're going to teach you how to unattract it through miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. And you're going to learn how to attract a resourceful, loving, positive relationship, but you can't continue to tell yourself that lie because you haven't lost them forever. Unless someone is dead and buried in the ground, you have not lost them forever. You can have the love you desire, but you have to put yourself in vibrational harmony and alignment with a loving, exciting, motivated relationship. And we teach you how to do that in miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. But the first thing you have to do is give up the lie. That's, I mean, you can do that right now. You don't need miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching to give up the lie. This is the number one podcast on personal empowerment, success, and the law of attraction. You're listening to the miracle mentor of light, Robert Zink. Number three, I'll never have a new loving relationship with them again. Okay. So you've reached the point where you realize the old relationship isn't going to work. There was too much backbiting, too much bitching, too much fighting. So you need a new relationship, but with the same person, but you're convinced that can't happen. As long as you are affirming that, then that becomes your reality. It can happen. It will happen but you have to be willing to take action. And the first action you take is to eliminate that lie from your consciousness. Lie number four, you know, we felt so wonderful, Robert. We had such a great marriage in the beginning. We loved each other so deeply, but we're never going to feel like that again. Who am I kidding? Well, that's the biggest BS that you could ever tell yourself. That's a huge lie. Because the truth of the matter is, is when people have made mistakes, when they've got into lower vibrational energy, negative energy, when they've been focused on everything but love, and all of a sudden they have this breakup, perhaps even a divorce, and now they come back together, we have the potential to make it stronger, more loving more passionate than ever before, because you know what you did wrong. You know, the thoughts you, you were thinking, you know, the actions you took, the things you said, how you hurt each other. And you can be more deeply committed to living heart to heart, mind to mind, soul to soul. You can have that old feeling, but it can even be better, stronger, more intense than ever before. Well, I guess one of the things that devastate a number of people is that when the relationship breaks up or when there's a separation, all the dreams seem to just, they just died. It's go away. 
So all these shared dreams are gone and you start lying to yourself. Well, all those dreams are yesterday. They're never going to happen. They can't happen. They won't happen. Oh, I'm here to tell you you're wrong. And that's a lie. The dreams that the two of you shared can be the tinder box for igniting a fire, a passion so strong that it's unbreakable. You see, there's more that keeps people together than attraction or sex or family. It's dreams, sharing mutual dreams and goals. And those dreams and goals are not dead. They're ready for you right now. And all you have to do is pull out a book of matches. It's that simple. Lie number six, I'm beaten up. It's too late. I'm broken. I, I'm, I'm just totally, I'm depressed. I can't do anything. Well, that's a lie because I happen to know that if the love of your life pulled up with a bouquet of roses or a diamond ring, your feelings would change very, very fast. They would change almost instantly. So don't lie to yourself. I want you to get into that state where you're vibrating high, where you're not broken, but you are fixed and better than ever before, stronger, more powerful, more determined, more loving, more optimistic, more positive than ever before, ever, ever before. Well, when people go through a breakup and perhaps over the years, you've put on some pounds or maybe you've lost a lot of weight or maybe you just feel unlovable for false reasons, but you feel unlovable. You feel like, oh my gosh, he was the only one that would love me. She was the only one that would find me attractive. Everybody else is going to reject me. Let me tell you, uh, we work with people all over the world and you are lovable. As long as you have breath in your body, as long as you have a heart chakra that you're willing to open up, as long as you are willing to dedicate yourself to passion, to love, to helping yourself and others feel good. You can be loved and loved like you have never been loved before. I'm telling you, it's going to be astonishing the love that you're about to feel. Because look at your old relationship might have been good. It might have been satisfactory, but your next relationship is going to be extraordinary. It's going to be out of this world. It's going to be mind blowing. And you're not going to settle for anything less, are you? Okay. If you're going through a divorce, if you're going through a breakup in a long-term relationship, I'm not, we're not here to help boyfriend, girlfriends with their spats, but if you've been living together, if you've been married, if you have a serious long-term relationship and you believe that person is the love of your life and you believe the second time around can be so much better than the first time then I want you to contact us because we're here to help you with the law of attraction. Now, ultimately you are the one that is responsible for your life. You brought about the breakup through your thoughts and feelings and fears and doubts, and you can bring about the restoration, the resurrection of your old relationship into something new, something exciting, something extraordinary. Write me a letter, put your phone number. I'm absolutely astonished at the number of people that will write me like a four page letter and then they don't put a phone number there. If you want help, you need to have a phone number. Look, we get about 300 inquiries a week. We try to get to everybody, but there's no promise. And unfortunately right now we're not taking people in India. We're not taking people in Pakistan. We're not taking people in the far East for the most part. 
only because of the time difference and because we are just overloaded. But hopefully we'll have more trained mentors in a short time. But if you're serious about your marriage, contact me. I want to help you. Okay. We are out of time, but be sure and subscribe to us on YouTube. Click the bell icon. That way, when we go live, you'll be notified about it and you can get in on our question and answer sessions. Okay. And on iTunes, we love you. Blog Talk Radio. Thank you so much for listening. And you have a wonderful day now because you absolutely deserve it. And hey, just keep flying high like a big, beautiful eagle. Bye-bye now.